I just thought it was a fun little experiment, so I wanted to show uh, what I was just playing around with, which is storing files in buckets and retrieving them. So, yeah, I'll just wing it. Um, so we have uh, an API and a bucket and a website. Website knows about the API endpoint. And I'll just inspect to make sure we know what's going on there. I'll go ahead and like choose a file in here. <clears throat> um, modeling KV with SQL. Go ahead and submit that. It gives us back this file name. Okay. So what's happening is it is um, posting into here as JSON because right now the wing API doesn't support binary. So you're like saving it as like a JSON file with properties. File is a, a data URL of uh, base64 encoded data URL. Gonna go all the way down here um, to get to the, oh my goodness. This may never end. This may never end. Okay. Um, file name and MIME type. So <clears throat> I pull that back and strip out the data URL part and then um, create a new blob out of it. And then just attach the URL that I create to um, this image and then just set the image here. So yeah, um, there's a lot more that goes into it, but I'll, I will attach the code when I got a little, little cleaner, but basically it's just um, posting a file in JSON format to the API. I'm calling it upload right now, but it's uh, basically <clears throat> a bucket put with this file name in JSON format and then uh, bucket get that file name JSON and then it just basically inserts it as JSON retrieves it as JSON you know sends it back without doing any processing whatsoever and then this is not being used this is not being used but all of the pro really kind of all the processing is being done on the client which is very inefficient but that's just kind of what we have to work with at the moment so um, 